reacting to the Arsenal kit 2020-21. So lads, with football returning in only 9 days time, a lot of Arsenal fans are very excited for the return of the Premier League, even though our first game is Manchester City. But there's also quite a few fans that are looking a bit further ahead. To be specific, I am talking about the next season which of course is going to be 2020-21 season. Now of course with our current season being on pause due to the coronavirus, you could argue this current season is basically a nothing season, especially if you take into the fact that Arsenal are currently in 9th place in the Premier League and they've had an awful, awful, awful season. So of course moving into the next season lads, a lot of things are going to happen. Now I'm not talking about a transfer activity for players leaving and players coming in. I mean Arsenal, I wouldn't mind Thomas Partey personally. But apart from the transfers lads, also with a new season comes a new kit. And in terms of the Arsenal kits for the 2021 season, apparently they have been leaked. I'm talking your home kit, your away kit and your third kit. And let me just tell you right now, they do look pretty decent and interesting lads. So with that being said guys, let's get into this video and let me react to and discuss the new Arsenal kits for the 2020-21 season which have apparently been leaked. What's happening next? I mean, I've been doing YouTube for a good three to two years, and I never thought I'd see the day where I would be reviewing clothes on this channel. So watch it, drink in, and enjoy it while it lasts. Yo, what is on, guys? My name is Basil Tino. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, lads, we are back again, and today we shall be discussing the Arsenal kits for the 2020 21 season, which have apparently been leaked. You say what? That is right, lads. According to multiple sources, these are going to be the kits for Arsenal next season, and you know what? They are kind of very interesting. Now, of course, if you guys have seen the thumbnail, you can see these three kits on the thumbnails, and all those images were designed actually by a Twitter account called Lacazette. Um, his account will be linked in the description, so make sure to follow him. He's a very, very good graphic designer. But anyways, guys, let's start discussing these Arsenal kits. Kit reviews, Basil in. You never thought you'd see it, would you? But quickly though, before we get into the video itself, make sure to go down there, smash a like on the video, subscribe to the channel if you are new, comment below your thoughts on the kits. Do you like them? Do you hate them? Are you gonna buy them? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Make sure to follow all my social media, my Twitter, my Instagram, all that good stuff vote for me for the football content awards and also subscribe to the offside as my group channel but with that being said guys let's get into this video and let's discuss the arsenal leaked kits of the 2020 21 season yo lads let's get into this right first things first lads we're gonna start with the home kit for the 2020 21 season it looks pretty decent i can't lie in terms of the kit for this season lads it's a very clean design it's been very nice and plain and it's to the point and a lot of arsenal fans have bought it and you know i would go as far as saying it's probably been our best kit in the last five to ten years but moving on to next season lads and the lead kit for next season as you guys can see here it's a very different design it's far more complex it's got a lot more designs on the kit it's nowhere near as clean i'd say but it still has a lot of things that I like about it. But let's dissect this kit as well. Now, in terms of starting off with the colour itself, this is a bit of a throwback colour. This colour was, I think, used in the 2011 season when we had Nike back then as well. And we haven't seen colours like this on an Arsenal kit for a very long time. And you know what? I was actually a massive fan of the 2011 kit. So to see it come back, apparently, you know what? I'm all for that as well. And in terms of the actual shirt itself, of course, the layout is the same. You've got the Arsenal logo, you've got the Adidas, and you've got the Fly Emirates. But then, of course, as you guys can see, there's also a pattern on the shirt as well. It's, uh, you know, kind Kind of like a triangular pattern and it looks pretty clean i can't lie and again i'm not really put off by the design either but i'm sure there's a lot of people who are massive fans of this season kit and they like the clean design so let me know your thoughts in the comments so what do you think on this pattern do you like it do you hate it personally i don't mind it of course you have also got the ids you know stripes going down the side of the shirts but again it looks pretty clean it's to the point i actually like that as well and of course if you look into the sleeves of the shirt as well you've got that nice little design that adidas print again and it looks very clean it's very nice and again even though the shirt is a bit different to this season's kit again it is still a very nice and clean design and you know what lads fair play to adidas if this is the actual kit itself because i shall buy this kit and i actually like it so adidas if you need a model you know hit your boy in the comments okay i'm joking but again lads what i'd like to reiterate to you guys is this is simply still a leak it's nothing confirmed yet there's no confirmed in this kit anywhere right now arsenal not selling this kit by any means do you know what have you looked into the sources and stuff and how they found this kit out apparently adidas accidentally leaked this kit onto the canadian website and if that was the case you know what, maybe this is the kit in terms of the arsenal home kit itself it is due to come out in july this year um and you know what if this is the kit i'm not gonna lie i would rate this a probably i would say a 9 out of 10 i would say it's on par with this season's kit 
but it has got a bit more to it, a bit more design to it, and I actually like it. But again, I know there'll be a lot of people who wouldn't like that pattern and they don't like that pattern. So again, let me know your thoughts in the comments and rate the Arsenal home kit, leaked home kit for the next season in the comments below. Because I personally don't mind you, you know. Now, lads, moving on to the next kit, and it's gonna be the Arsenal away kits. Now, this kit is a bit dodgy, I can't lie. Now, the reason why I say that is because in terms of the actual leak itself, there's two leaks right now. So the one in the thumbnail of this video, I actually really like that kit. Going back to the 2008 season, that cloud design, and I really like that kit. But in terms of the newest leaks that have come out in the past few days, and this kit, uh, yeah, I find this an atrocity. It is awful. I hate it. What are you doing? Whoever made this, what are you doing with your life? I think the reason why I hate this design is simple. You know, the actual shirt itself, it looks decent. It's got the white in it. It's different to this season home kit because, of course, we had the bruised banana kit this season. But in terms of the actual design, I don't mind that kit. But what I don't like at all is this, you know, this red design, this red, you know, stripes. To me, what it looks like is a man's gone to the ice cream bag and gone, boss, can I have some strawberry sauce on this? It looks awful, bro. I just do not like this kit whatsoever. And it's simply down to those lines coming across. I don't know what it is. I don't know what they were thinking about it. Personally, I really, 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 really don't like it. Then I mentioned how much I don't like it. But of course, as I've already said, there's actually two designs that we leaked. And in terms of the second design, the one in the thumbnail itself with Mesut Ozil in it, I actually really, really like that kit. And if that is the kit, then how do you guys, here you go, here's my money right now. Because that design is a far more clear design. It's to the point. It's simple i can wear that and not look like i've been sprayed in strawberry sauce and for me lads if i was to rate that kit out of 10 i'd probably give that like an 8 out of 10 maybe a 9 out of 10 but in terms of this kit and the one that you know is apparently the new leak i will give that a 2 out of 10 it looks awful i just hate that design i just I don't understand who thinks that having tomato ketchup sprayed all over his kit looks like a good thing. I can tell you right now, Aubameyang won't sign the new contract because you look at that away and go, bro, I'm out. I'm going to Real Madrid. Can you imagine Gabriel Martinelli, the future Ballon d'Or winner, coming out as if he's been sprayed by tomato ketchup like he's got chips on him? Nah, man, I'm good. In terms of the colour scheme, of course, it's completely different to this season's, of course. We had the yellow and the bruised banana kit, the throwback kit. And in terms, of course, in this away kit, you've got the white design, the black stripes or the cloud white design. And I actually like this a lot more. I think we've had the Bruce Banana kit. We've come back and we, you know, that shirt looks great. A lot of people have that shirt. But in terms of the cloud white colour scheme, I actually don't mind that. I actually really like that as well. I think it's a very clean design. It's a very nice colour to have. And you know what? Personally, I'd buy the kit as well, as long as I'm not sprayed in tomato ketchup. So if there are any people here who work at Adidas, bro, if this kit is the Arsenal home kit, I'm not buying that. I am writing for that kit. That is illegal. You can't go out in public like that without getting arrested. It's awful. It's ugh. I don't like it. But of course, if this is the Arsenal Wake for next season, then Adidas, let me know right now where I can buy it. Here's my money. It's all yours. Take it away, lads. So yeah, in terms of final ratings of the kits, the first design gets a 2 out of 10. It's atrocious. The second one gets an 8 out of 10. So yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comments, lads. What do you think of the first design and what do you think of the second design? I know already a lot of you guys will hate the first one. And if you like the first one, then bro, what's going on, mate? And then finally, lads, moving on to the third and final kit, and that is going to be the Arsenal third kit. Now, I can't lie, lads this is a kit that i am a massive fan of in terms of the color scheme to this kit it's actually keeping a similar color to what it was this season in terms of that blue design with the you know yellow stripes but apparently instead of making it yellow they've actually changed the yellow to orange which i'm not the biggest fan of but i still like the kit i don't hate the kit by any means personally i was a massive fan of this season's third kit i really like that kit i think it's very nice and clean design you know we've seen players go to Anfield and martinelli and smash goals in and i'll tell you right now lads i've been a massive fan of this season's arsenal third kit now in terms of my personal thoughts on the kit i think looking at the kit i actually like a lot of things about the kit in terms of the color scheme and the way it's built the only thing i hate though is that pattern whatever it is that you know thing i think it's like a cloud design which is obviously the thing that's covering the kit i don't like that whatsoever i think we've seen already this season in arsenal's training kit wherever it is and i hated that because what it looks like is someone's taken his clothes to the washing machine and it's come out and it's stained all over the place like i really really don't like that design in terms of the color scheme i'm all for that and in terms of the orange as well i don't mind that either but what i absolutely hate is this cloud design i think if you are to compare this to our current third kit there's levels to this this in third kit is a very clean design it's to the point there's nothing too much about it there's no designs that ruin the kit it's nice and it's clean and i really really like it and we've also seen gabriel martinelli score two goals at Anfield with it it's a very very nice kit let me just say but if you're there to compare that kit to this kit it's very similar to this kit the only thing that puts this kit down lads is that cloud design and 
if that's the case lads adidas i'm not gonna lie you might have to change that because i'm not the biggest fan of that but of course that's my personal thoughts so again let me know your thoughts in the comments of what do you think about this kit and the cloud design now if i was to personally rate this kit what i'd say is i'd probably give it a seven or maybe a six out of ten and that's simply because of the cloud design i love the colors of the kit i like how clean they are how much they contrast and how good they look the only issue for me lads i'm gonna say it again is that cloud design i really really don't like that it doesn't look good to me whatsoever and adidas i don't know what you're thinking there lads what's going on lads but yeah guys make sure to go down comments and let me know your thoughts on the kits and make sure to rank them out of 10 and most importantly lads who do you think is going to be playing in these arsenal kits next season thomas Partey, may i just say right now ralston lee i hope you're listening but with that being said guys i shall end the video there and there of course if you have enjoyed the video make sure to go down there and smash a like on the video make sure to subscribe to the channel as well we are on the road to 10,000 subscribers as always lads let me know your thoughts in the comments on the video itself and also these kits do you like them do you hate them will you buy them and of course let me know your ratings out of 10 of them make sure to follow all my social media links are in the description my twitter my instagram subscribe to the offsiders and vote for me for the football content awards all links are in the description again a massive shout out to the designer lacazette who actually made the kits for the thumbnail so yeah make sure to follow him as well links are also in the description but with that being said guys let's end the video very there in today's video lads we have discussed the leaked arsenal kits for the 2020 21 season lads and all i'm gonna say lads is there are some decent designs and there are some absolutely awful designs anyways guys I'll see you next time.